Hi, it's Hema here from Trof CSS Smart Group. It's so happy to see you again. Uh, today I'm here to uh, talk about diagnosing of DVT and how we can manage at our GP surgery level. And there is a new uh, protocol is going to come in Bradford soon. And this is um, regarding the Rivaroxaban, how we can use it in our GP primary care. Uh, when we suspect DVT in, in one of our patients, it's always better to use the, we always use the Wells score, isn't it? Wells score involves the active cancer within six months of palliative, paralysis or recent plaster immobilization of the lower extremities, recently bedridden for three days or more or any major surgery within 12 weeks, low class tenderness along the distribution of the DVT, uh, system, entire leg swollen, cough swelling more than 3 cm, fitting edema, confined to the symptomatic leg and collateral superficial veins, and previously documented DVT, or alternative diagnosis is um, at least as likely as uh, DVT. So we have to do this well score, and low score is 0 to 1 point, and high score is 2 or more points. So when we do the well score, uh, basically what we have to make sure uh, to do like D-dimer, clotting screen, renal function, full decum usenies, LFTs and CRP. And um, then we have to look for any contraindication for the primary care treatment with rivaroxaban, and they are like pregnancy or breastfeeding or postpartum, age less than 18 years. And the other contraindication is symptoms of PE, if the blood pressure is more than 180 by 115 and uh, if you anticipate compliance problem even with support in some patients, you know, and uh, severe renal impairment, CKD stage 5, EGFR less than 15 months, and if the patient has already known to have liver failure, the risk of potential bleeding lesions like GI or GU or intracranial bleeding less than 4 weeks, congenital or acquired bleeding disorders or platelets less than 90 or, can't, or on, if the patient is on contraindicated drugs. Um, so they are not suitable for primary care treatment with rivaroxaban. So after doing this well score and the contraindication uh, checking, and still if we suspect DVT, the best thing is to do. If the well score is 0 to 1, they falls into the low risk category. So do the D-dimer and see the D-dimer result and if it's negative, stop the rivaroxaban. If it's positive, refer for the ultrasound scan. And if the ultrasound scan confirm DVT, then the patient needs to have rivaroxaban for minimum three months. If it doesn't show any DVT in the ultrasound, then the radiology department will repeat the ultrasound scan in a week's time. And the second patient group is like, if the best score two or more, they fall into the high risk category. So even if even um, if the data is negative, anyway we will be sending these patients to the ultrasound uh, check. And uh, if the if there is no significant DVT in ultrasound, the radiology will check the D-dimer, and if it's positive, then they will ask the patient to come back again in a week's time for repeat ultrasound scan. But if it's negative, the radiology will discharge the patient back to our GP, and we have to stop the river accident. So that is the new thing new protocol for um, managing DVT, suspected DVT in the primary care level. And with a positive result, how we have to treat the patient is like we start the rivaroxaban 15 mg BD and then if it's if it's ultrasound showed any DVT then we have to continue the rivaroxaban for 12 weeks in total but the remaining is like rivaroxaban 20 mg OD. So that is the main thing. The 15 milligram BD should not be repeated. That's the one point we have to note. So that's it. It's all about the new tablet Rivaraxaban, otherwise called Zeralto. And um, um, make sure like how to how it can come in CSA scenario and um, see how you can blend all those checklists, the well score and uh, the content negation to rivaroxaban in your uh, history taking itself and make it smooth and sleek and don't forget to get the support system uh, the occupational impact psychosocial impact 
um, and everything, you know, to uh, give the holistic care. And um, see you soon um, in the next free videos and share with your friends. Okay, bye-bye.